Number one, go non-exclusive. Number two, create different edits of your uh, music tracks and get into the habit of doing that. And number three, always try to join uh, more uh, music libraries. Hello guys and thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Stock Music Licensing. If this is your first time around here, my name is Daniel and I do stock music for a living. I sell music on different sites uh, across the internet and I'm, uh, my channel is basically a way of documenting uh, my journey and uh, sharing my experience with others that want to do something similar or if you want to earn this as a part-time uh, income. In this video, I want to share with you three things that you can do in order to increase the chances of uh, getting more sales. First thing that I will recommend for anybody starting off or the first thing that I will do if I was starting off again from scratch, from zero, will be to go completely non-exclusive. Now, there are many sites who are actually uh, work this way. Pond5 is one of them. And uh, they are uh, strictly non-exclusive, so you can just upload your music and you can sell that same music track in other sites. And that's a great idea uh, to start off with because you can just compose one music track and then actually sell it across different platforms. When I started off, I started off with a, a one exclusive account. And really what that did is actually, even though I was earning more per, per song that was being sold, I was still, I wasn't able to sell that, that particular music track in another site, which is, is a really bad deal in my experience when it comes down to stock music. Create music with edits and create music that have different uh, versions. What do I mean by that? I mean that you have the main song or the main track, the main music track, which will be your song. Regardless of the genre or the style, it will be the main song with all the elements of it, okay? And that's, this will usually last a minute and a half or two minutes. Now, what I have learned over the years by doing this, and I learned from somebody else actually that is much more successful than I am, and a few composers, a one minute edit, another one there will be a 30 second edit, and another one there will be a 15 second edit. These are quite standard when it comes down to commercials and advertisement. And uh, I had to learn how to edit my own songs or my own music tracks in those formats. In the beginning, I was doing just like random edits, okay? It will be like the main song and then it will be like 40 seconds or 25 seconds. And this is, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the actual measurement of uh, standard broadcasting uh, edits when it comes down to, to commercials and, and, and ads. You can see there's a plenty of information out there on how to do these edits. It's an art in itself. It has really increased my, my sales. And uh, especially on sites like uh, 123RF and Pond5, you actually sell these items individually as a separate file. It still belongs to the main song. Let's say that your song is called I'm Happy Today. You will have underneath uh, a version which will be a minute edit and it will be I'm happy today, 60 second edit. And then you will have uh, the second one will be I'm happy today, 30 second edit, the 15 second edit. And I can go as far as to do a sting and a bumper. If you don't know what a sting or a bumper is, uh, again, uh, for the sake of time, I don't want to get too much into it, but a sting and a bumper, you can Google it. And those are very small transitions that happens in radio and actually advertisement. And it's to, or films as well, when they go, it's transitions, but when they go from one scene to the other, or when they go from one commercial going into the actual uh, show or the next segment of the show. Uh, so these are things that I had to learn along the way. When I started this, I had no idea what this was. I know that it existed. I didn't know how to actually uh, put it together. And uh, the more I practiced by doing this kind of edits, the more, the more I learned of how important it is. And uh, on Pond5 and 123RF, I have noticed that uh, my statistics and my analytics is I have sold a lot of edits, okay? 15 second edits of the main song. Uh, stings, a lot of stings, a lot of uh, loop versions as well. You can do loops, which means that it will have to simulate less uh, loop, just loop the song that you're working on. And uh, you're just creating more value for the actual customers and the video makers. And actually, sometimes they want something very specific. That's another thing that has to make sense as well in terms that if the edits are shorter, let's say it's a 15 second version of your main song, which is two minutes, then it has to have some kind of like it has to make sense in that small period of time. So it will be like an intro 
or a verse or go straight to the melody and then it will have to like peak very quickly and then kill the song you know 15 seconds of music is very it's not that it's hard but you have to get used to the idea of editing this and uh, put it in context uh, to make sense and uh, the third thing will be to actually to join more libraries that's what i did as well and i'm still joining uh, new libraries as i go along you know there's many many sites out there and uh, according to some uh, statistics apparently out of 10 people in the business world or in uh or in sales in general out of 10 people seven will not buy and three will oh so saying that you have to have enough things out there for sale and you have to have enough traffic as well in order for people to actually buy your music or or at least create some kind of awareness that you're actually selling music and you know and obviously focusing on, on what you're good at and on your niche and uh I have mentioned before that I'm a guitar player, so I focus my main uh, compositions is based on the guitars. I don't do future bass, I don't do a EDM, I don't do anything like that because it's not my strengths. And um, so yeah, man, listen, I hope these videos uh, are helpful to you. You know, my 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 message is for, to try to help people, especially when they're starting off, to actually avoid the mistakes that I did. You know, and uh, it's just. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a very simple process, but it could be very, uh, it could be overlooked as well, you know? So again, the three uh, tips in order for you to increase the chances of sales uh, with stock music is number one, go non-exclusive. Number two, create different edits of your uh, music tracks and get into the habit of doing that. Out of one music track, you can create six or seven different uh, versions. And number three, always try to join uh, more uh, music libraries and uh, you know you might not uh, like some of them and you will find out only when you actually have joined them and see if you, you get any revenues or, or or whatnot you know the only way we can try and, and, and learn is by actually joining the libraries upload them and see what happens you know anyways man I hope these videos uh, find you well hopefully this video as well is uh, helpful and uh leave the comments below uh thanks a lot for all the love for all the subscribers and uh, messages and uh, as always man i'll see you on the other side of success let's rock and roll